Good afternoon, a good evening, wherever you're watching it. Today is Sunday, and you know what Sunday is? Sunday is fun day. Sunday, I'm going out to Tecton. Um, I went out yesterday, Saturday. I went out for about four hours and come back with not a lot of stuff. But here's the video. I'm going to set the videos of yesterday's hunt um, and, and Miss Spade incident. Uh, Miss Spade's a bit on the broken side. Um, I have fixed it to my best ability, but I can't see it lasting much longer, especially on the hard pasture. So... On that note, your boy, the Grim, is going to try and hit some woodlands. Oosh! Yeah. Um, the bad thing about woodlands is I'm going to get played by shotgun ends. How many I'll dig up, I'll leave that down to you. <laughs> but I'll be digging every target I hear. Um, is it, this woodland here has some history behind it. I, I can't go into too much detail because I might actually give um, my location away. But it has some quality history. And yes, I do have permission for this woodlands. So yeah. On that note, let's dig in. Got to drive there now. It's about an hour's driveway. So yeah. On that note, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Check out my Patreon. And I'll see you all in the woods, in the cool breeze. And hopefully the ground will be a lot softer to dig. Off I trot. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, lusciously cut grass. How beautiful is that? One of the first thing I'll hear, it look round in the clod. I think that's possibly going to be Batan looking at it. It looks very thin. It is a Batan. Yeah. Nothing on it though. But hey, first signal. It's round, it's metal. That's what I'm looking for. Let's crack on to the next. Off a trot. Right, when I first saw this, I thought, Fob Seal. Uh, because I saw it sort of this way up. It's not. I think it's just a bit of orn ornate furniture fitting. But it's still. I'll go in and pop. Film the, you can see how dry the ground is, look. How dry that is. It's so dry and so hard and still loads of stones. But I'll soldier on through it and see if I can find some coins. Right, let's jump in the next find out of this crater of a hole. Oh, look at that. Um, Georgian button looks things. Yeah, it's definitely a Georgian button. Got the round it's a bit like a musket ball, but they've got a little clasp on the bottom where there's a button. That's quite cool. That means there's Georgian here, and there's a great saying, where there's Georgian, there's what? Hammered. So hopefully, today will be the day. But we've got to walk over it now. There's a big old field to try and find something that's small. But let's try it. Off a chop. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the ground is so hard today. That's the last time I'm gonna mention how, look, look at the end of my spade, bent up. Look here, this is all bent. This shouldn't be here, this is all buckled up. Got paint peeling off here where it's bending like this. The spade is on its last legs. But I pulled up a nice little buckle by those things. Uh, possibly medieval looking like that. Which is quite cool. Wasn't that far down, thank goodness. This thing has been a lifesaver today. But yeah, it's a bit bent up and broken. But in this ground with this amount of flint and stuff, you, you'd expect it. It's a find of the day so far, something of age. Anyway, boys and girls, I'm going to fill in the hole. Well, I'm going to pile in the dust back onto each other. And let's crack on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I've just flopped the clod open. Something round here. In the ground. It's a button. It's a bloody button, isn't it? Oh, it's just another bloody button. Uh, See, I saw this writing under here. And I thought, this can't be. Is that a button? Yeah, it's got to be a button, isn't it? Oh, get me hopes up again. I thought there was a bit of crud stuck to it. No. Just a button. Rubbish. Ladies and gentlemen, I've arrived to the woods. It's a bit overgrown, but I have switched to a smaller coil on my machine. Um, that's so I didn't get caught up in the undergrowth as much, but I'm gonna give it a good old bash. I've already dug, without you guys knowing, three shotgun ends. This signal sounds different though. I'm gonna switch you around so you can have a look. 
sounds a lot higher, so it could be something a bit different. You never know. Get away, stick. 72, 71. Sounds fairly clean in the air. We'll give it a quick dig um, with my newly fixed <laughs> bit. It might be a bit of tuck, but it might be something decent. All right, the dig in here is so much easier. Can't see the obvious. Still in the ground. All right, let me get this out and I'll show you what, um, what it is. Right, would you Adam and Eve it? Onto my first coin in the forest. I think I can see a head on it as well. That's a, it looks like a George II. Oh, <laughs> seems to me a good hope now. Yeah, onto the coins, right. Yes. I can't wait, right. As you can see, it is very overgrown, but I'm happy with that. I've got some more coinage. To be honest, I didn't expect to be digging anything but shotgun ends, but this has filled me in such good hope, but it's just trying to find the bits that are accessible. On that note, let's chat in and let's get finding more of these. All right, ladies and gentlemen, my next decent find, come out of this hole here, it's a baton. I found a baton in the woods. Has it got anything on it? Uh, no, it's got a shank on the back though. Nice little flat pan. Right, so I'm in the right area. I've had a coin and a button and about 30 shotgun ends. <laughs> you think I'm joking? Um, so let's keep digging. I like this. The ground's actually really soft. Anyway, on that note, where to go to next? Hmm. Right, my next signal actually blew me ears off. It's a huge piece of shrapnel. That's all it is. Yeah, proper banging sound. Well, it's doing about halfway through the end now. I haven't found a lot. Lots of shotgun ends. Um, I'm grateful for the opening I've got in the woods. There's a bit of clearing, which is where I am now, and the sun's getting down and keeps me nice and warm. Keeps the energy going. Vitamin B, vitamin B. <laughs> um, yeah, just need to keep searching. Keep... There's a lot of history in this woods. I just need to find it. The only thing is, is the undergrowth. I know it's sort of spring, summer, it's summer now, isn't it? The undergrowth is rather thick. It'd be nice to come back here in the winter when it's died down a bit. But I'm actually going to a different part of the woods now. I'm going to a thicker part of the woods because I'm a glutton for punishment. Um, but it's something that caught my eye. I want to go check it out. Um, anyway, if you haven't already hit a subscribe button, uh, that's what I do. I go out in the countryside trying to look for hidden treasures and history beneath our very feet. Right, and less gas in the air. Well, luck needs to change soon, doesn't it? Let's get back to digging. Off I trot. Well, I come across, I can see a feature. I don't know if it'll come out on camera. It's like a wall, an old stone wall that runs down. Can you see it? Oh, go away, Mr. B. Yeah, an old stone wall that runs all the way. Goes all the way over there, all the way across here, and all the way down. So I'm going to scan across this, and even better, the foliage isn't that big here either. So I'll be able to get a decent swing on this. So hopefully, I'll find some artifacts that give me a date on this wall. Right, that's not what I'm exactly looking for. I want some older stuff to give me an ID, or at least a date on this wall. I'm looking around and I can't see any remnants of anything else. It's just this feature, which runs up and down here. Right, something round. Uh, I think that's a base plate of an old grenade. Yeah. Right. Still not what I'm looking for. Old stuff, old stuff. All right, out of this hole here, looks like I want to have a coin. We had a bit of a clean up, I can't make anything off it. Really tarnished, that's, look at that. But yeah, there's another coin for the pot. I can't really complain. Don't know the age of it, because I don't know who it is or what it is. It's 
program. I know some of you are going to be saying this is a shotgun end. It isn't a shotgun end. It is. It's a bowl. It's a sacrificial bowl for a mouse. <laughs> oh my lord. I've got to stop digging these up. They give off such a nice sound, so you just got to dig them. All right, my next signal is round, and I don't think it's a shotgun end. It's on its side. I'm going to say it's a nice button. Brilliant. <gasps> oh, wow, I haven't found one of these ones. It's a, it's a domed version of the thin ones I get with the three cannons. One, two, three cannons, look. That is cool. I like that. Ow! Bloody thorn in my finger, look. I should wear gloves. Yes, I know, I should wear gloves. Right, sort that out. But that there is fine of the day so far. Sweet! Oh my God, I've just knelt on this. It's a prickly bush, but I think it's gold. Button, it's a gold button. I think it's a gold button. It's gotta be just a gold button, surely. It is, look. It's where she was sat for many a many a moon. You get. It's a gold livery button. Oh wow, what's that on that? Is that a pheasant? That's cool, isn't it? I had my heart going a little bit. Kind of knew it was going to be a button, though. I don't know if it's a pheasant. I don't know, it's got something in its mouth. It's a dandy old button, that, though. Do you like a blinger? All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think I want another coin. It's ringing up quite high. You can see that's where it was in the clod. It's still in the clod, shall I say. Can you believe it? Adam and Eve it, a modern penny. <laughs> oh well. Still, another coin for the pot. That's the way you think of it. Let's crack on. Right, I found a signal in the old, it rang like a coin. I thought, oh, it's got to be a coin. Then this came out and it's, um, it's like an old iron nail or something. So I was like, no, it sounded like a coin. And then there it is. So coin in the clod. <laughs> what are you, oh my god, is that another modern coin? Well, that's three Pete, spendable. <laughs> you get. Right, let's crack on. Got a signal in this hole here, I've already removed a little bit of the dirtages. Uh, it's ringing in the 70s, but it's a bouncy 70s, so I'm not hoping, it, well I'm not I don't have great hope in it being something amazing, but it could be something nice. What's that? There you go, a bit of scrap of aluminum. Oh, how, how do the Americans say it? Aluminum. It's aluminium. Aluminum. It's aluminium. Right. <laughs> Let's crack on. That was a bit of a turn up for the books. I was actually just coming out of the woods, about to call it a day, because the undergrowth was too much. Uh, wasn't finding a lot. I go and bumps into the farmer, don't I? He goes, have you tried this field? And I said, I haven't been on that field yet because I thought it was seeded. Anyway, long story short, it is seeded, but with all the dry weather, the seed hasn't took. So I'm allowed on it. Oh my Lord, it's like the field of dreams. It's like perfectly flat, freshly cultivated, rolled. <sighs> to me, I just, just lost for words. So I'm not even gonna walk back to the car because I gotta walk back to the car. It's about an hour, I say about an hour. It's about an hour, half hour there, half hour back. 
So that'll be an hour I'll be losing. So, still got my little coil on. I'll have a bash on this land. And oh my days, it looks amazing. Let's hope we get some decent stuff off it though, that's the thing. Right, let's gas and let's get onto that field. Just look at this. I've got about an hour left on this field. So I've got to go home. Uh, yeah, first egg, little tin can. But I am going to absolutely smash the granny out of this field and see if anything come off it. Whew. Right, out of this hole here, I've got this. Um, it's like two plates of copper or brass and they're sandwiched together. It looks like wood. So I think that's like a... Um, no, like an old uh, hinge to an old box or something. See the wood in the middle? Yes. Now where's the buried treasure? All right, ladies and gentlemen, next coin. Looks like a half penny looking at it. Oh, look at that, it's a ship half penny, look at that. 1947. Happy with that. <laughs> I've done it. <laughs> A bucket list find or what? Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes. Oh my lord. I found a bit of one of these the other day. Now I've just found a complete one. Get in! I suppose you don't want to know what it is, don't you? Massive hole, it's quite a deep one. This is with my little tiny coil. Oh my lord. <laughs> oh, the weight of it, I can't believe it. Ah, oh. Bronze Age axe head. Completed. Get in. I think I'm going to call it a day after finding that. Yeah, I'm calling it a day. Right, I'm going back to the car. I'm absolutely... I wish I could express the feelings i'm having right now it was a bronze age axe head that was i think number two on my bucket list find and i was being teased the other day when i found the the little part of it for me to find a whole complete one. Oh my days <laughs> over the moon over the moon is an understatement to me that's better than gold it is far better than any gold it's like two thousand years bc before Christ, that's how old that is. I've got one in my hand, it's in my bag. I can't express, anyway. How already hit that subscribe button? I try and find host lost treasures. <laughs> Off a truck. And I'm afraid the other end of another hunt I have in smiling all the way home. Um, Ear to ear, I can't believe it. Bucket list find. Complete bucket list find found by me. Um, yeah, if you haven't already hit the subscribe button. Um, should be out again next week. Monday Night Live tomorrow night. Will I write my new bucket list? With help from you. Right, on that note. Off I trot. Edit this video for your enjoyment. <laughs> Follow white rabbit I'm taking potions, call me Alice Watch me grow taller Yeah, rabbit's watches in his pocket